Welcome everyone to another edition of Play It Through, and on this edition it's Captain Comic, the adventure, brought to us by Color Dreams. Color Dreams was that company that made all those unlicensed games for the NES with the powder blue cartridges. They had several names, including also going under Wisdom Tree to create religious-based games for the NES. In fact, they are actually still around to this day, licensing games and the like. For the first bit, we're heading all the way over to the right side until we come to a door. We picked up a bag a little bit into the level that gave us the ability to throw out our projectile. You can throw out quite a bit of it, you just have to make sure that it doesn't completely drop your meter in the top, or else you have to wait for it to recharge. You have your health bar on the upper left side of things. You have a decent amount of health, including being able to pick up health items like the giant shield here that replenishes it fully. But it's still very easy to lose health, so you want to conserve as much as you possibly can, though that can be very difficult in this game, just due to the amount of enemies, and a lot of which will be able to duck your fire. The low enemies, your fire just goes completely over, and you can't duck yourself in order to hit them, so you kind of have to either avoid them, jumping over them, or just take the hit. There are a few times where we can manipulate the enemies a bit. Basically, if the enemy is on screen, they're not going to spawn another one of the same set. Basically, the enemies are coming at you in sets of four. So if you have the four enemies on screen, another set of four enemies is not going to be able to spawn. So you could keep some enemies on screen and walk with them on the screen in order to not get other creatures to spawn. It's something that we'll do very briefly during the maze-like area that we're coming up to uh, in a little while. For this area, just be careful of the pits so that you don't fall down, of course. Jump up here and make sure you gather the health item in case you're getting anywhere near low on health. Head over here to the left side, and eventually we're going to come to a rocket ship that we're going to get inside and take that to another area. Before getting into the rocket, you could grab the other power-up. I'm just going to end up grabbing it later. It doesn't really end up helping me that much either way. As soon as we get to this place, we can get the next of the power-ups right away. So, we're good to go for a little bit. This is a technically 100%, I guess, run of the game. Getting the treasures as well as getting the power-ups and the like. I will be using one little glitch at the end of the game just for fun and to get uh, to the end chamber a little quickly and it's just kind of humorous because you can warp from the beginning of the last place to the end of the last place in just a matter of seconds. This area is a little bit tricky and the platforming in general isn't the tightest. Uh, the controls overall are a little bit sluggish and you don't always jump if you're near the edge of a platform so you always want to jump a little bit early. Thankfully here we have the big jump. You have like kind of anti-gravity going on anyway, so you can thankfully get up to where you need to most of the time. That was one of the treasure items that we're going to grab. We're going to head inside of here now. This is the place that's the maze-like area I was mentioning earlier. You can get these enemies to spawn where you want them to a little bit by jumping right before a group spawns. And if you do it at the right time, you'll get them to spawn on the level above. Now, if there's not a level above you, if you're on the top level or like right here, there's no level, you can't obviously do that. But in an area like this, you could if you went along just the bottom path itself. What I'm going to do is keep this blue enemy on screen, and then get the pink enemy to show up, and I'm just going to walk them slowly to the left. And that way, those two enemies can't possibly spawn again, and I can just get safely into the bigger area here. If you just walk through the area without trying to manipulate the enemies or doing that trick with them walking with you, it can be really, really tricky to get through. Here we're going to get this guy to chase us like a boulder, Indiana Jones style, through this corridor. When we get to the end, there is a door so we can go into it and escape him at the last moment. I thought that'd be a fun little thing to do there. Here I'm working my way to the right, jumping along the way to try to get the blue and pink enemies to keep spawning above me instead of on my level.
Be careful making your way up these platforms with a few enemies bouncing around. The ones here, they will fall through the gaps as you go across. Very, very carefully make this jump. It's very tricky to do. But drop on down here and you'll grab like the power boots and continue on through the next door. Right from where you come out here, we're going to head down and right to the next door. Uh, there may be some enemies that spawn, so you deal with them first and then go through the door. This takes us back to the other place where we were earlier, and now we're going to head to the left. This is uh, right near where the rocket ship was. Just a little bit to the left of that is a cave area that we're going to go to. Right near the beginning of the cave is thankfully a good piece of health that we can get back. There's only a few of those blue shields, but boy, do they come in handy. Up here we're going to go through like the hidden door you can kind of see in the wall. When you come out, head over to the left side, jump between these pillars. It can be a little bit tricky with your jumping, but not too bad. Keep going to the left side and making your jumps and firing along the way. Every few jumps, if you fire, you have a good opportunity to potentially hit the enemies that are going to spawn. Here we're going to grab this wand. This wand allows us to teleport, which is really cool. I'll show you what you're able to do. If you press select, you can teleport either above platforms or to the next platform or the like. Over here to the left side, we're going to grab the treasure and head on down to the door here. I'm going to do a quick teleport to get down to this spot and then just over to the left to enter inside of here to go back outside of the cave. And now we're almost at the end of the game here. All we got to do now is pretty much get back to the starting point. At the very beginning of the game, there was a door that was locked that we couldn't enter. We now have all the items that we need, everything's gotten, so we can just head there now. I got the last upgrade that we're going to get. As you're making your way, you can use the teleport to have some fun and also bypass some enemies. You are invulnerable when you do it, so it does help out quite a bit. I have to say, learning Captain Comic, this is actually one of the more playable and enjoyable Color Dreams games. It's not great still, none of their games are particularly great, uh, but this one is definitely one of the ones you can put on the list of it's at least playable. Once we make it all the way back over to the right, head through the door, and now we're going to head back all the way through this area that we started in, back to the left. Once we get inside the door of the castle area at the start, that's where I'm going to do that little glitch and go up and grab the final treasure. And the uh, once we grab that final treasure, that'll be the end of the game. The final area isn't too long, but it is pretty difficult. There's a lot of just annoying bat enemies and the like, so... It's not something you're going to miss a whole lot out of by not seeing some of that area. Thankfully we have plenty of power-ups so we're just able to blast through a lot of the enemies running back. Firing every few steps is enough to take down most of what ends up getting in our way. The wave-like beam that we finally have does hit enemies on the ground. It still can miss, but more than likely you'll end up being able to hit them after a few shots. Here I'm getting one of the bird enemies to chase me, that way it only one can spawn. As we hit the door and enter inside, now we're going to teleport into the wall right here. Jump up real quick. Grab the crown and enjoy the ending to Captain Comic. So there you have it, Captain Comic, just the one screen ending right there, but with that, that will wrap up this episode of Play It Through. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.